Welcome back to SOS. I'm BA. Sippy. That didn't land. You want to try it again? I don't know if I should. That's kind of dangerous, even by my standards. You're well, you're throwing knives next to my head. Oh, your head's way over there. Ah, there we go. There you go. Go ahead with your intro. <laughs> I have Crate Club General. You should go check them out. They uh, do a, a quarterly uh, subscription box. And this is the first quarter. And this is the first quarter box. So we're going to open it up and see what's inside. I didn't puncture anything, so there you go. I thought you were going to go all the way through this thing. I held back. I mean, the first one there had me worried. <laughs> that was a little too intense. What's the... All right. What you got? So... Let's begin with a Johnny Slick's Rugged Beast Bar. <laughs> oh, yeah. Are those the, uh, this thing? Yes. So, it's soap, and it smells glorious. Let's see if we got a little, looks like a freaking Wolverine on the front leg over there, but it smells really good. Some really strong soap. Ooh, smell this. Hmm. That smells good. Yeah, it does smell good. It smells like... Bed it doesn't, beyond. you don't think beast. No, I, I think, you think of like woodland fairies. Yeah, woodland fairies. David the gnome. Yeah. Healing a baby fawn. Yeah, some. Mangled. And it's got to be like By a dramatic. Yeah, yeah, dramatic scene. And it's got to be. the soap on the baby fawn to heal it. And then you hear like some soft music playing. Yes. And you tiptoe very softly. Yeah. So the beast part. I, Beast Man, I think you need to retry your roots. Go back and figure stuff out. and This will make you think about those things while you're taking a shower. After barley. a hard day of work. Barley and sweat too many years. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Next one is Ben Shot Rocks Glass. Okay. Family owned. Tastes like freedom. American made. All right. Cool. Look at that. Isn't that neat? And it's not something silly. It's actually legit. That's cool. I would drink out of this just because it's neat. I'm sure you would eat the bullet, too. I probably would. As long as it's not being shot at me. Check that out. They even got, like, the golf ball one. That's cool. Cup holder. Well, you got a problem. Coaster, not a cup holder. A co coaster. 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 Well. You and your twine. Your twine, turd. All right. Bless your heart. That's cool. You got a little bullet shoved in there. Very interesting. Okay, question, B.A. Hot shot. What kind of bullet is in the glass? All right, it looks like a 30 co. <laughs> What's it's too big to be a it's too big to be a, a five five six or two two three. It just looks like it's in a range of a thirty cal. It's probably thirty caliber. Three oh eight. I said thirty caliber. You didn't say three oh eight. Th three oh eight is thirty caliber. You didn't say three oh eight. I said it's the size diameter of a thirty caliber. I'm looking for specifics and you failed. I'm sure it's a three oh eight. I would have said three oh eight, but I was gonna be more on the money by saying it's a 30 cow. You were being sick. It's a 30 cow. You were playing it very generalized. No. I'm Anyways, playing it like someone who reloads ammunition. No, I did not. Alright. <laughs> on to the next supply drop is a Grail Geopress purifier. Grail Geopress. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow. These things are just the freaking. You see these in like 40,000 Instagram posts a day. All right. If I could just get this tag on thing. Up. You may throw you a knife to open it? I wish it would have started off with a knife first. <laughs> uh, here, I'll use the. There we go. It's a grill. And this is the large one. So, because you have like the smaller one. And this one being the largest, this GeoPress, it, I mean, it's a lot better off for you to have more water than less. And 
I mean, you're carrying a big water filter. So you got like this whole system here. Yeah, 24 ounces. There's your filter. Yeah, you just untwist there. There's your filter. You can change these out. And it'll clean it as fast as eight seconds. Yep. And the important thing is, is it does remove the cysts. And you can drink from here. So, so you don't drink uh, warm eggs. I mean, uh, uh, you all you got to do is just take this guy here and just go into your creek, set this down, and then put this on there, and then just press. All right. Well, since and then, you opened it, it's good for three years, and unopened is 10 years. I don't care. Oh, well, it's good to know these things. It's organic. Anything organic is going to last. If it's if it's already five years, it's going to last 10 years. Anything organic. I'm, I went to school for this stuff. I don't care what it says. It's good for, if it's good for five years, it's good for 10 years. If it's good for four years, it's good for five years. It doesn't make any How sense. How are you getting those numbers? Because that doesn't make any sense. I figure you're doubling it. No, I it's organic. If it's good for four, then it'd be good for eight. Cause you said if it's good for five, then it's good for For 10. someone to say something's good for four years, but it's not good for five years? It doesn't make any sense. It's unused. It's organic anyways. Exposing it to the elements and atmosphere doesn't change the fact that it's still only good for the yeah. X amount of time. Usually anything like this that's organic is only good for three years. So technically this thing's only good for three years. They're already bumping the numbers by saying it's good for four or five. They said 10 unopened. And if you say 10 unopened, that's still juicing it a lot. Mm. Because it's still organic. It's an organic filter. I'm just saying. Anything organic is going to die. But that's my opinion. But no one believed me during COVID, did they? All right. Moving on. Your next one is uh, it's a one letter word. Are we playing a guessing game now? And all it says is A. Figure it out. What's in there that has A? The letter A? <laughs> it just says the letter A. I feel like we're on Sesame Street. I'm looking for the letter A. Well. I guess we're done. There's no letter A in there. What am I looking for? <laughs> oh, the, the hat. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so, look, the only thing I have against this Wazoo hat is it comes in black. Okay? You look like Jackie Chan. Jet Li. Jet Li. Exactly. Jet Li. What's that movie Jet Li played in where he's, like, wearing all black? He's got his black hat on. It's like, anyways, I don't... I, some type of lethal force... Freaking uh, expendables or something like yeah. that, right? But the, uh, like, if this was in like, could you imagine if this was in like coyote or Odie green, or I mean, heck, even orange. Well, they do or have yellow. Ken and Cody. Coyote. Now, now, but when they come out, it was only black and black, and that was it. And to send out just the black. Everyone feels just like I do when they see this. They think Jackie Chan. Do you not? I see it. I see no, it. No, I see Jet Li. Or Jet Li. Jet Li wore the hats, not Jackie Chan. Well, I think Jet Li. Jackie Chan. Jet Li. They're two different people. They both wore black hats. They were both ninja-like. Yeah. And wore black hats. And did some sort of Tai Chi, Kung Fu... Well, it says it's got little pockets I know. inside. I know. That's cool. It's got pockets here. 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 There you go. A little side pocket. Here. I've got one myself, but I look like Jackie Chan when I wear it. Gently. You know I'm doing it on purpose, right? Mm -hmm. I keep saying Jackie Chan just to get you to say gently. 
I'm doing it just to irritate you. All right. Anyway. The next one is the Civivi Cubit. Okay. That sounds like a knife. Let's see what this thing looks like. You need a knife to open it, though. Come on. Chopper. There it goes. Lordy mercy. All right. And it has a case. Oh, man. I don't know. Is this the knives that I like or I don't like? I don't remember. Uh, yeah, it's one of those knives. There, yep. It's okay. I just... I don't know. I just, it's like you see one, you see them all. They all look the same to me. Uh, it's black. Uh, it has a clip. And it's probably very sharp. I just don't know if... Like, this is just... I mean, it's all right. It's got a push button, but I think it's just a... Like I said, it's like... It's not to do this. It's to... You push and swing. And you can... It's like no touching... It's all right. It's just yeah, yeah, very basic. Okay. All right. Great Ghost minimalist plate carrier. Okay. So we have a plate carrier this time. Usually get some of the most unusual gear with these uh, general boxes. So it's a, it's a just a standard plate carrier. Say you were doing like the tactical games or something like that. You've got some uh, very flexible type snap material. You still, you it doesn't come with all the other things. So when you think plate carrier, that's all it is. You put plates in it, you can use it for working out or something, running or whatever. And then, you know, you can add stuff to it. Uh, this is like a black camo. Very cool. It's one of my favorites. I always like this... Uh, type of multi-cam of black camo. Black camo is what this is called, technically. Anyways, it's very nice. Cool little rig. All right, what's next? Halo Optics Z1000 Ranger Finder. Uh, I already showed this on the channel. You guys might go back and see this, but... Uh, it's a standard range finder. Mine didn't come with batteries. I don't know if this one does. This one actually has a case with it. The one I'd gotten didn't come with a case. It was just this raw, nothing in it type thing. Open this thing. I want to see if it's got any batteries in it. Nope. You got to put batteries in it. Oh, well. <laughs> But uh, this is going to take a one, two, three battery. It doesn't have one in it. And but basically, when you push this here, you've got your modes here, so you can switch to know uh, how far away stuff is in from like yards, meters, and and things like that. You can switch between, and you can also switch between uh, angle. It'll give you like your uh, your drop uh, from. The range you're at to the uh, like the hillsides so if you're kind of on a hill looking down it'll tell you what all that is just by looking here it's only in like a calculator format so it's like black on clear that's all it is you'll have a clear picture and you have like black numbers and stuff that's really all it is so it's very simple very to the point it'll tell you the yardage exactly that's it that's really all you need to know that's really all it does so but it goes out really far, up to 1,000 yards-ish. So, but uh, it works. I know it works, but it just needs batteries. But anyways, it's a very good uh, range finder. What's next? Grey Ghost Admin Pouch. Grey Ghost Admin Pouch. So, this is a admin pouch. I guess you could use it with your... Administrative needs. Yeah, you could use it with this if you wanted to, your plate carrier. In a camo, black camo setting, you have your perfect mounts back here. You use 6000D per, uh, fabric material. But this is a very nice 
setup. You could use this for, uh, you could, heck, you could use that for medical stuff. I mean, you got all these little slots and stuff like that. You could put something small in it. Uh, but it looks like it's meant for pencils and everything else. Uh, very cool. And it's got this, so you can do a halfway. Kind of do that. Right about there. You can kind of do like a L shape. All right. That's it for that. Mm -hmm. Is that it for this? That's it. All right. Thank you guys for watching. This is a Crate Club General. Go check it out. Tell them Step 1 Survival sent you. And God bless and take care. Stay safe.